show me. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome <laughs> back. <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't know what was happening. I'm just there standing here and thinking, I'm like, uh, I think my IFB died for a second. I saw myself. I saw John. Like, are they testing like, this? Yeah, right. Surprise, we're back. Okay, <laughs> we have Josh here with Louisiana Locavores in the building. Okay. We love having you. You come on like once a month to cook something delicious. Yep. For those at home who don't know what a locavore is, let's break it down for them. What, yeah, is, what does this mean? So a locavore is somebody who predominantly eats locally grown or produced foods. Um, so that can mean like going to your farmer's market and getting vegetables and dairy and that kind of thing. It can also mean going to the grocery store and supporting okay. you know, locally produced products. I love that. Yeah. And I love that too that you the cool thing about Josh, <laughs> he uses as much local things as he can, but yet creates these kind of like dishes where you wouldn't expect to use sweet potatoes and make them into a tortilla and have like <laughs> Mexican tacos or like you use, you create worldly dishes with all of this stuff, which I think is great and inspires people to get creative in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So that was like the mission, you know, this was my passion project. And uh, I brought the tortillas on the set, and I saw Taylor's reaction, and I was like, well. They are good. I should start selling these. What do you call them? <laughs> what, did I, what do I Sweet call Sweet potato them? pillows. Sweet potato Sweet pillows. pillows. <laughs> they, are, they are my favorite things, I think, ever to this day. They go great with the sauces that you mm -hmm. make. So, okay, you're here today. You're making, yes. what are you making today? We make some beer braised tasso nachos. So we've got some awesome Ooh. local tasso from Foreman's Boudin Kitchen. So you're not going to want to miss this, guys. Mm -hmm. I, I love this. And was... How do you come up with these dishes? So I, I just get these ideas in my head. You know, I can't <laughs> stop them. I'm, just a, I'm an scientist. idea guy, you know. Um, but I figure if I can show people different ways to use local products, then, you know, that's going to encourage people, you know, to buy local. Mm -hmm. yeah. And two, you are at the farmer's market. Yes, uh-huh. We're at the market every Saturday. We do tacos on our glorious sweet potato tortillas. Oh. <laughs> they are so just good, too. Let me pick one of these up like, and show you. Can we get a close-up of these? Because they are just Isn't that beautiful. beautiful. And they I think, too, you perfected the tortilla at this point. Yes, I do believe so. Like, these are great. And we're going to be cooking with Josh throughout the rest of the show, so don't go anywhere. You, my friend, have a look at the weather I coming do. Up. It's a very hot. Welcome back. We are cooking some delicious nachos with Louisiana Locavore, Josh Tibbs. Okay, so you got a whole spread. Which, oh, what yeah. is this? All right, so we've had our tasso braising for about an hour. When you say braising, yep. what does that mean? So it's where you cook it in a liquid at okay. a lower temperature, so it's kind of like simmering and just okay. getting all delicious for a long period of time. Okay. So that makes it super tender. Oh. And uh, I just used some local beer and braised it down. Um, you can just see the spices on that tasso. It's just and where do you find yeah. this tasso? Because this is local. Yeah, you can get it at Rouse's. Um, I've seen it at other supermarkets too. So, you know, you don't have to go to the farmer's market for their products. I also put the ham hocks in the red beans. So Okay, yeah. whoa. <laughs> okay, tell me about this process because yeah. I, could, I couldn't even tell that there's ham in here. Yeah, because it cooks down so long, again, in beer. You know, mm -hmm. that's yeah. my favorite thing to cook in. I love that. <laughs> Adam's too. Yeah, well, I yeah. also <laughs> like to drink it. <laughs> Weird so how that works. What's that? Do you just chop it up real fine and stick it in the pot with the beans and just let that cook? So for the ham hocks, you know, my normal beans are like a two-day process. Oh, <laughs> really? But wow. I did a, a lot lower effort uh, recipe. I'm going to send it to you so you can yeah. share it with all the viewers. But just braise the hocks down until they're super tender. You take it out, add a can of Blue Runner beans, mm -hmm. and cook it down with a lot of pork fat and butter. And nice. Just and delicious. Blue Runner, that's local too. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Oh, I'm, I swear by Blue Runner. Like that's my go-to. Is there beans. like a, cause I know there's Camellia bean, Blue mm. Runner. Yep. Well, I just grew up with Blue Runner in New okay. Orleans. So my parents use Blue Runner all the time and that's, you know, what I've gone with. So, and I swear I love by that. them. Okay. Yeah, and the Blue Runner, the good thing about them is that you, they don't only have dry beans. They also have canned beans. Mm -hmm. So oh, if you're okay. in a pinch, they work. Just crack See, open the can. That's what I do. I do right. the, the canned beans. I do, uh, do you eat two them from the can? Yeah. Just it's straight, hard. just like no, you you cook them down, like okay. you put them on I was heat and you cook you them down, so and you add in your andouille, you add in yeah, all your stuff. Yeah. So yep. these, when you said you put beer in here, how much yep. beer did you put in? Uh, with two each of cans these? of beer for this, one can of beer for that, and one it, can of beer for you. Um, <laughs> yes, 
cooking without a beer is like a sin. <laughs> now here's another question about uh -huh. the beer. Does it matter if it's a light beer or a dark beer? Or Usually does it I use a lager. So okay. yeah, like a lighter beer, I wouldn't go too dark. Um, mm -hmm. You can use dark beer for some things, but when you're talking about cooking meats and beans and things like that, just stick with a lager because it's okay. kind of like foolproof that way. I love that. And you get an extra treat today because this is how my mom, Debbie Tibbs, hi mom. This is how <laughs> she used mom. to make nachos whenever I was a kid. So you top each chip individually. Uh, so you what? smear the beans, uh, yep, uh-huh. And then a little bit sense. of the tasso here. So every bite is like perfect. I feel right. like your mom is a, a and then genius. They don't get soggy. <laughs> And Wait, then that's a slice great. And then you have some local cheese. What type of cheese? Borden's it? whole milk mozzarella. Oh, ooh. Okay, and then we're just going to keep building. I'm just now learning that Borden's has a cheese. Too. Borden's has everything. <laughs> wow. I just, okay, I love that. And you just build, so now when you build this, do you yep. stack them on top of each other or do you just let up, line them up? Yeah, just line them up and then throw them in the oven at 375 until the cheese melts and we're going right. to eat soon. We're going to keep making these. Stay with us. We'll be right back. After Welcome back. We just love it when Josh is here. He's always cooking up something delicious. Hey, you know, he went outside and put those nachos on the ground and they melted in the time. You know, it's I wouldn't be surprised. A lot it faster is than the toaster oven. Yeah. <laughs> this is, I'm going to derail this conversation for a hey, second. Now. But a lady in Texas baked bread in her mailbox because it I was so hot uh, uh, outside. So we probably could bake yeah, these outside if you want to yeah. get. Let's try it. If you want to get really local, use local <laughs> energy right here from your Free backyard. energy. Boom. I love that. Okay, so how long do these cook for? About five to seven minutes. Kind of depends on your oven at 375. You just look for the cheese to melt because everything okay. else is cooked. And then I just like to finish it with a little bit of garden herbs, make Ooh. it look pretty. And are these from your garden? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So every herb that we use at the market is from our garden. So herb um, lives in your garden? Okay. Okay. He's got anyway. more dad jokes than me. And he's Someone not even mute a dad. his mic. <laughs> <laughs> My gosh. And so, what is this fancy sauce? I was about sauce? to ask. All right. So, this is a crema made with our verde sauce and a little Ooh. bit of sour cream. Would y'all like some on your. I would. Sure, a little dabble. I would like to try some. That would be good. I'd like to dabble with the dabble. That one was horrible. Okay. Who are you, Adam Olivier? Pick your nacho. <laughs> I feel like I'm at the Funga <laughs> Games. Oh my gosh. Okay. And so, what are these jalapenos on pickled on top. jalapenos. Are those uh, local? They as well? are. I don't know why I'm asking. <laughs> of course it is. It's Josh. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That tasso is so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The ham ones. hock and the mm -hmm. and the, beans. And the red beans. Yeah, it gives it that smoky yeah. flavor. Yeah. So it yeah. really adds a lot to that. We use both of their products, both have that smokiness, so it really adds a lot of depth, you mm -hmm. know, and dimension to it. And I am kind of tasting the beer mm -hmm. a little bit too, and I really like that. I was waiting to see if they're going to do a close up on my face because they'd love to do that just to you know, make fun of me. Well, here, let me give you some extra crema then. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. And so for your tortillas, do you make this into chips? Yeah, it's super easy. You just quarter them up, throw them in the air fryer at 250 for 25 minutes. You can also get them at uh, Five Mile Eatery in the oil mm, center. And we nice. sell them as chips there. So. Wow, that's really good. This is like a great tailgate snack, like a little finger food. You know, football, you football season up. around the corner. Like if you don't want to make a whole heaping plate of nachos, or do maybe it this you do want to like, make a whole heaping plate of nachos. I mean, but this is so nice. You can just come and grab like and your perfectly portioned you'll have nacho. You so much beer. Yes. My mom was a genius Who when it came today? to nachos. I know. So thank you, mom, for showing us this well, hack because. We, we were actually talking genius. about it. How and I just this made is it better with, with mm -hmm. you know, the blue runner red beans for me, and then uh, the nachos for you. This is so good, and I love the heat on the jalapeno. I feel like it's it really ties too. it together. Yeah, it's not over hot, overly hot, but it's got that nice little kick to it. Mm -hmm. You know, that adds I'm, it. Good I flavor. I love this. <laughs> Keep this on deck for tailgate season as football approaches. Okay, we're gonna be hanging out with Josh for the rest of this half hour. You, my friend. Welcome back, y'all. So, okay, the nachos just keep getting smaller and smaller on this plate because everyone's trying them and loving them. Taylor keeps eating. Did I say that out loud? I'm sorry. Carry no, on. everybody's been eating them. It's okay. Reed, just mute his mic. Just mute it. Put her on Reed, don't do it. Mute. Don't listen to her. Okay, so any whoosums, Josh, you are at the farmer's market every yes, weekend. Uh -huh. Tell we us about this. We are at the this. market. Uh, you can buy our tortillas. 
Uh, you can come and get hot food, tacos. We have a rotating menu and our sauces, of course. Um, mm -hmm. We also do a lot of content on social media. So check us out if you're on social media um, to try yeah. and get some inspiration. Your Instagram, by the way, always makes me hungry. Like y'all play things so beautifully. And I'm like, wow, I wish I could be an artist like that. That's yeah, the you idea. still go to Taco Bell for food. I just... I also go to Chipotle. Your point. Okay. Anywho. Neither of them are local. Josh. That's the point. <laughs> 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 I also go to Taco Sisters. So there, both right. of y'all. One out of three. Thanks, Adam. <laughs> we try. We're working on them, guys. So your sauces, are they with the seasons? Like what sauces do you have right now? Yes, we did a lot of seasonal ones. Uh, these were the most popular. So right now we're just focusing on these and our tortillas. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's just too much to focus on sometimes. Yeah. So we've kind of streamlined. Point, Story of like my life. Five different sauces. Yeah. Uh -huh. Two. It was a bit much. <laughs> and I think those are the original ones that you showed us when you first came on the show. And we tore yep. apart. They're so good. Standards. I'm telling you, a bottle of the sauce, a bag of tortillas, you have lunch. Your, your weekend, that is perfect. Your weekend is made. Like, it I mean, really it's is. Just, like, in, you were talking about earlier, this would be great for tailgating. Mm -hmm. That yes. in and of itself would be great for tailgating. And you could double, triple, quadruple the recipe with no problems. Mm -hmm. uh, just make sure you use the right tasso and, uh, and ham hocks from Clemens yeah. because they, they make all the difference. Mm -hmm. And sure. we're going to post where you can get that, too, along with that recipe on our website, klaf.com. But, Josh, what time will you be at market? Uh, 8 to noon. So come and see us. We got lemonade, hibiscus lemonade. That Ooh. Is Local good. hibiscus flowers. Yep. Keep you cool. I can guarantee you one thing. You won't have any rain to deal with tomorrow. Right. So I won't have to get a text saying, hey, uh, about that <laughs> rain that came through during uh, the time I was at the farmer's market. No rain, just, you know, blazing sun all day. A little humidity. Oh. It's good for the skin, I've heard. You know, that keeps you looking young. <laughs> okay. We're going to be right back after this, guys. Stay with us. Could arrive. You know, not to rain on your parade or anything for tomorrow, but um, I wish I could give you a little bit better weather. Cooler, drier, not as humid. Wishes. Maybe October? What do you think? October? Mm, that's pushing. I'd say November. November! Hi. Just in do time you for the first frost. Huh? The 21st yeah. first night no, of November. If you need something to do, regardless of the heat, go to the farmer's market, yes. visit Josh, grab a bag of these. They freeze really well. We're going to post the recipe on klaf.com. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday.